Hello, it's Nancy today. I'm going to show you what you can do to get some exercise in the winter. When the snow is two feet deep and you just can't go anywhere, and you're not going to shovel those paths so you can walk around your house, you can make a snowshoe labyrinth. Now you got to put your snowshoes on and it's going to be hard work, unless you didn't get much snow. But if it's new snow and you got a foot of it like we did last night, it's going to be hard work. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. Now over here, you can see I started in the middle. See where the shadow is pointing? Sort of up there. Okay, well you start in the middle and you go around. You just go around and then you go back and then you go around this way and then you go back. Go around that way and then you go back. Go around this way and then you go back. And it looks lovely. Over there I've already walked it three times. Now this here is new snow and here I am, snowshoes and all. And so you put one foot ahead, and it goes down a bit. And you put another foot in, and it goes down. And then you pick it up, and you go ahead. But hey, it's not working so badly right now. Sometimes you're bringing up a whole, seems like a whole foot of snow on top of your snowshoe. This is very easy here. Boy, but it has been pretty hard. Now the snowshoes, the shape of the snowshoe, you can't even see it. The shape of the snowshoe, see how it comes out and bulges there. Well, the other snowshoe fits right against it. Oh, the darn bindings came off again. Okay, so you put that one in. Now you try and stay a little bit away from your last ring. See, so here's the last ring right over here. See, I'm trying to leave a gap between them. And hopefully when the snow blows, it'll still leave these heaps. This is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That's a five ring, but I'm making, I'm on the way around making the sixth ring. But see, I've run out of room because I have a, a valley over there. Looks like my teepee's not gonna be usable for a while either. See the crack on the top of the greenhouse? As I walked along and I made these, it made cracks at the very top of the greenhouse. So we could have an avalanche right onto my labyrinth and the path alongside the greenhouse. <laughs> Looks like I got a lot of work for me ahead. It's pretty darn tiring when you, especially when the bindings come off your toe and then your foot goes flopping everywhere and your skis or your snowshoes somewhere else. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Looks like there's gonna be some clouds again though. We had that blizzard and it cleared up in the night and there's blue sky now. This is Eastern Ontario, cottage country, where everybody who lives in the city goes for the nice holiday. I get to live here, however, in our little chalet. Isn't that nice? I think that would be a nice Christmas card. I don't know, that shelter with all those sticks sticking out looks pretty crummy in the picture. That's the creation that kept the snow, sun off us all winter, summer. Alright, I've babbled long enough. Go build your snowshoe labyrinth. And then you can walk it every day, a few times a day. And you can get lots of exercise without really going anywhere. It's the first time that's hard. Okay, see you later.